We're coming, elbow. Okay. You see how you just like you twitch back and forth like between what you want to do? Right. If you were to just pick one of those, you know, multiple things that you're considering, you'd have much more impact, like much more impact than you are right now. Because you have to you have to be willing to pick the wrong thing in order to be able to more accurately pick the right thing, if that makes sense. Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm I'm so good. What about you? I'm okay. Not the greatest. I played some Valorant and uh haven't won many games as hacked, but that's okay. Um <laughs> Okay, can you remind me your rank and agents real quick again? Uh, my rank it was like Iron Three, Agents, Astra, uh, Omen, Jet, Reyna. Okay. I think that's about it. So I'm just gonna say Astra. We probably talked about this. You play a lot of um, agents, and that's generally not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Do you understand why? Uh, inconsistency. Yes, that's that's one of the that's one of the main reasons, right? Because if you're playing a bunch of agents, then you're not going to be very good at a particular one or two, or at a single role, right? Because you're playing agents across multiple roles, so that's not um, that's not ideal. But that's something you can pretty easily fix. You just have to know what you want to play. Okay, so we don't need to fight this. We don't need to fight this. They have to come to us. Right, so they either have to come to us, so if they're coming A, then we can just take a better position here, wait for them to come to us, or we can realize, okay, they could go B. This, I don't really know. See, it's kind of hard for me to understand how Iron plays. Um, you, wait, what rank do you say? Bronze one. Oh, bronze one? Okay. Yeah. So, so it's kind of hard for me to read exactly what these players want to do. So they, mm -hmm. technically, like, objectively, they could go back to B, so that's something that I'm thinking about uh, from a higher, like, higher train of thought, higher level... Thinking probably right here so again we don't need to be fighting this especially now what you want to realize here is again we're on defense we need we can let them come to us we have heals our teammates are both very low something else you can look at more reason for you to kind of chill out i think that there is one shower so you also want to be careful about that but again to win this round on defense we all we need to do is let them come to us so we can take a better position and you haul we can play back here is fine where you were this is completely fine but peeking this is unnecessary. I don't, how do you feel about like using comms? Do you feel comfortable or? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Okay, so yeah. I would I would say there at first you want to realize like okay, you know we don't want to be peeking this, but also realize that your teammates are low in that scenario. Let me go back just so we can look again. See how low your teammates are. So let them realize like do you guys have heal. Like I'd be asking them. I'd be like probing their minds. Like do you guys have heal. Can we heal each other? If not, let's just kind of play slow, right? Because. That's exactly what they don't do, and that's why we lose this round. So here, I would definitely be considering to leave. I would be first asking, like, raise, how many, like, do you hear them raise? How many, are there a bunch there, right? Something like that. We're talking about comms, because you're comfortable with comms. So I'd expect a little more comms out of you. Because most people are not comfortable. But here, I would have definitely considered rotating a little sooner. Just because, by deep, like, the worst case scenario here is that they just come out B and we lose it, which is what happens. Because, again, they have guns this round, and we don't. So we want to try to use positioning to our advantage here. We want to try to get, we want to try to get onto site before they have it. Because if we're on site one, we're closer range, which means our guns are a little bit better for for that kind of range, right? Whereas right. if we're if we need to retake now, it's kind of it's very difficult. It's very very hard. And so you don't always want to be rotating really fast like that. But on this round, you have nothing to lose, right? Because you you just have you have pistols. Your whole team doesn't have guns, so. Mechanically, like, your aim seems decent. I, I feel like your aim could even be, like, low silver. But positioning-wise, right now, that's what I'm looking at. Good smokes. Good smoke. I would, I would definitely, I would definitely hold this. Pretty sure that you hold it, heard him in hookah. I would, I would have definitely tried to get it to half. So as a good general rule of thumb, most people uh, are very scared to hold the spike for whatever reason, right? Whether it's like your fear dying or you just don't know where they are. Like right here, if you mm -hmm. just hold this to half, um, mm -hmm. there's a very good chance you at least get it to half. And there's even a chance that you can uh, get the whole spike diffused, right? Here again, here again, you want to be asking like, yo, Sage, like, do we hear them B? Do you hear them B? You don't have to single a single teammate out, like, but you can, right? Because... You want to know where they are. You want to know where the enemy team is. Right here, you only know that yours is here. You don't know if there's more. And that's something you mm -hmm. have, that's information you have access to if you ask your team. You have to you have to be asking though. 
And so this is again information you once you get this information you can use it to either decide okay I'm gonna rotate or I'm gonna wait because like if they end up saying oh there's only one or only two or something like that or like they say there's not many then you can just kind of stay here and wait but if they say oh there's a bunch which there probably are I'm gonna go ahead and guess they're doing a hard B push <laughs> so I'm gonna again rotate here pretty soon I'm just gonna go ahead and take the gamble because based off how these guys have played so far they have not rotated and this is something you want to be realizing so we're just wasting mm -hmm. time here we're wasting about 10 15 seconds just sitting there and we're still at sea indecisive like we're kind of just going back and forth like that uh i think buying in lower ranks is a very it's very hard for me to wrap my head around so you shouldn't try to <laughs> you should just try <laughs> to buy you should try to buy on your own pattern is what i tell people because mm -hmm. whenever you lose pistol round on second round you are not going to have enough money to buy anything right so you right. want to save second round so this round we should be able to buy we should be able to full buy that's what that's what happens in like the highest level of play. So that's what you want to try to be doing. You want to try to get your teammates to do that, but I can promise you that's not going to happen in bronze very often. Like people are going to buy randomly, so I wouldn't pay too much attention to what they're doing. If you can buy with them, then do it. But here the problem is we we had a pistol first round, we had a pistol second round, and now we're buying a really bad weapon this round. When we probably could have just full bought and tried to convince our teammates to as well. If they can't full buy all with you, again that's fine. That's what I'm trying to explain. Okay. Again, mechanically, I, I like I like that. I think you're you're good mechanically. I think if mm -hmm. we just rotated sooner, because right, if you're there sooner, you can kill more than just two, because you're already gonna be in a better spot before they're moving on to site. Because you have you have right. plenty of time in this in this round specifically, and probably in every round that you're playing against these people, you have plenty of time to rotate and get into a better spot. But you're not you're just not thinking like okay, you're not really thinking ahead. You're just kind of like you're wasting 15 seconds right here. Right. That was that was actually worked out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this. Yeah, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this. We don't need to push this. We could just stay on site. Cause again, how are they going to win the round? Uh, they need to get on site to the plant. Yeah, exactly. Like the objective, right? So they, you're on what they need right now to win the round. And again, yeah, like I said, you have the aim, to, you have what it takes to, to win this round for your team in this position, but we kind of run away from where you want to be. And you get flashed, unfortunately. If you didn't get flashed, this probably would have worked. But also, you see, you're getting shot from up here. So that's another problem, because you're kind of exposing yourself just for a split second there to this. If someone has a better aim, which most people probably will not um, in this rank. But yeah, this is just, again, kind of a positioning thing. So we're wasting time here, starting the round here. It shows me you don't know exactly where you want to be, which is okay, but it's, it's probably your biggest flaw so far. Mm -hmm. is okay okay good this is a good wall again i don't think yeah i don't think you know what you want to do because you see you're just like running back and forth looking around you know like you see what you're doing right mm -hmm. like this is this is bad this is very bad because like you're, you're probably thinking like okay maybe i should go back a or maybe maybe they're coming b and you keep alternating between those two but what you have to realize is that you, you you can't you're only one person you're not two people you have to pick one of those two and you just have to put all of your effort into one and if they do come to you b that's great if they don't you can still retake it's not like you know you're out of the, the whole round but it will be harder so just pick your best guess right pick your best guess mm -hmm. so here another thing i'm looking at is they have five volts this is always something i look at this is like a this is very attention pulling to me and if it's not to you you want it to be like that because you want to be thinking ahead like okay how could they use these ults how could this impact the round? Because right now, they should just they should easily win the round with these ults, which they very well might here. Okay, again, right here, this is wasted time. It might not seem like it's that important, but this is waste, val very valuable wasted time. Because what could we be doing here? We could be could be up at a very uh, a much more advantageous spot for yourself, or you could be like throwing a smoke or a pull for your teammate. You could be coordinating with your teammate. But here, you're essentially just waste wasting a portion of the round for for whatever reason. I think you're, maybe you're playing here because you, you want to like rotate to either one equally. Like, so you want to be in the, in the middle, right? Is that what mm -hmm. it is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so on bind, it's pretty standard to just three stack a site. And if you're the player that is moving around the sites, that's fine. But again, you want to be decisive. You can't, you can't play like this. You're not two people. This is your biggest, uh, is your biggest flaw as a player so far you know you want to be thinking okay are they gonna go b or are they gonna they go on b most rounds so i'd probably be playing b if i was you if i was you right here but this is not good again you wasted 10 seconds here like what if they just run out a and they kill everyone or they run out b and they kill everyone you know yeah yeah so this is just how bind plays because it, the middle of the map doesn't really exist right here see 
just a big void. So you have to you have to just three stack a site, and this should be pretty eye opening for you because now you can play now you can like pick a site and just figure out the spots. Good again, your your aim is definitely not your weakness. So we don't need to fight this though. We don't need to fight that. Because again, they have to come to us on, on defense. That guy always does that and it works every time. We're coming elbow. Okay. You see how you just like you twitch back and forth like between what you want to do? Right. If you were to just pick one of those, you know, multiple things that you're considering, you'd have much more impact, like much more impact than you are right now. Because you have to you have to be willing to pick the wrong thing in order to be able to more accurately pick the right thing, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But if you don't pick at all, that's that's where the problem really is. And this is a very common thing that I notice whenever I coach people. I don't know why our sage is doing that, but again, not much logic, <laughs> not much logic here. This is where I'd be like, okay, I can smoke or I can I can stun, I can pull. You want to you want to specifically calm your your pull or your stun when you're going to use it. And here you definitely want to be using it because these are very strong. You want to be saying when when and where you're going to use them because this is very very useful for your teammates. That is actually, I would consider that a quite a bad smoke, yeah. actually, for you. Mm -hmm. I would smoke, yeah, I would smoke this. I mean, obviously, I <laughs> obviously smoke that, but yeah, um, yeah, I would, I would just smoke that by, um, by default. Or you can put the one way up; it's completely fine. Uh, I don't know if we knew he was opting, but th this smoke over here is bad. I think you're about to die, but this smoke right here is bad because they can sit right in the edge of it if they're smart. And then as you're hitting the spike, they can just swing out and kill you. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Nothing you or your teammates mm -hmm. can do about it. So here, we're just going to die. Right? No, we're not. Okay. I've been playing against too many good oppers. <laughs> here, just stick the spike. Stick the spike, right? And this is why this this is why this smoke is bad. Oh, I see why. Good trade. Yeah, that's why that smoke is bad. I don't think there's ever a scenario where I'd want to be want someone to be playing here. So if you really just think about it logically, like you, you want to increase your odds of holding a site. And if you're here, you're going to, like, even if there's, if you know that they're starting to come B, you're going to be only able to come up to, like, right here, which is probably where you're always going to play from anyway. But say you wanted to play, like, under Hookah or close where your Sage is or in, in here, which are all viable options, you would you just wouldn't be able to get there because you're so yeah. far back. So, okay, so now they have a Chamber Op. They have, <clears throat> we have Res. And I would definitely be moving. I would be moving probably to Elbow here because they have the Op. I like, I, I, again, I, I like that you you have smoke set up all across the map. This is perfect. I'm not, I think that's completely good. I am just mainly focused on your position, like your, your player's position, we got no character's idea. position, I mean. Yo, do you guys hear them? How many do we hear, right? You want to probe your teammates' right. minds? Because you can't hear what your sage is hearing, but you can't ask her. And also, why do we see the spike? Is this a glitch? Because I've seen this happen before. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's actually there or if it's just a bug, but not, not, it's not. Pretty bad yeah. bug, if that's, like, that's pretty severe bug. It's, okay, one's not out. One on me. I would, here you want to be playing together. You can, so here, here, perfect example. You see the spike on the minimap, if you look, and you can put your pull or your stun on the spike. And so whenever she has to go for it, because she only has 20 seconds, we don't even need to look at her. We don't even, we could literally just go look at a corner and stare there until she's, like, toward the spike. And just stall her right. out. Because if she can't put the spike, we, we're getting free RR. Free rank up. <laughs> that's all that's all it takes. Especially is Astra. So I think Astra is very strong, especially in this rank. Again, you're taking a fight with her that you don't need to be taking. If you just came back here, right? She only has 15 seconds when she kills you. And she still doesn't have the spike because you see it in the background right here. You just have to realize this. And if you were back here instead, she's trolling. She's throwing. She she would have a she'd have to stick the plant if she kept going this way. Yeah, but here we're giving her the kill. So this is actually She has to go to the spike. This is I don't know why she okay. I don't know why I'm trying to make a logic out of it, but like, I, I don't like I just don't like this spot. This is just Like you're just giving them sight when we don't need to be because we have three people here We have numbers. This should be this should be something that we're willing to fight for as a team or at least on your own So we could um, we could ask if they hear B and we could throw a smoke over there, maybe Smoker two. This is completely fine though. I like this position. This is good. This is good. I would be asking do you guys hear me though. I would be asking that. I would so here like here we can peek. We can peek. Because again, your aim is good. So after this session, you're gonna have more confidence because I'm telling you your aim is good. This guy is <laughs> going to try to kill you. Help me, Astra. 
<laughs> Ruler might be our spawn. Yeah, there's a couple. Careful here. Hey, Gubby. Hmm. Like, I think like another way to put it is like it seems like you don't have much urgency to defend the site, which is fine here because you're kind of alone for a little bit. But you know, I just wanna I wanna see some thought for you from you to like advance a little bit onto the site. Yeah. Realize what you can get away with. Like, don't, I feel like you might respect your enemies a little much right now as well, just a little bit. So try to try to test your limits. See see how much you can actually get away with. And once you realize what you can get away with, you can really use that to your advantage. Because again, if you don't, if you're not trying to do that, um, if you're not trying to do that, that's gonna severely limit your potential. So All right. So it's just like we're just kind of our whole team's just assuming that we're gonna go B, but yeah, that that's fine. But we could be like. Um, you know, we could just call like something more specific like okay Can someone come along with me because we do want probably someone to come along here on our team Because if we all go hookah, right and we take sight that means all this is unknown to us Which usually will be fine, especially in this rank, but I rank someone will just sit in this corner because I know that I would and Just wait kill every, like I would get like three kills on you guys easily So this is this is exactly why we want to go. This is exactly why we want to go uh, long the only reason that we were uh, cautious of this is because of the TP right here, right? So it's kind of obvious that there's one there. Kind of right. obvious. If there's no TP or it's not chamber, then we're probably not going to fully clear this out, especially especially in this rank. So, fortunately, he's just kind of trolling. He's also a low rank player. Okay, so what I'm going to say here is, like, you have your knife out. So it tells me you aren't really interested in taking fights here in this scenario, which is okay mm -hmm. on... It's okay. It's okay on Astra, but still... I would say just on any agent, you want to be looking for opening kills to get into a site. It doesn't really matter. Even if I'm Sage, like I'm still going to be not necessarily running in first, but I'm going to be looking for kills. Um, mm -hmm. so, like just the first kill really helps you open up space and like the site for your team. All right. So here you're just wasting time again. It's just time that you're doing. So yeah, like this is still just wasted time, right? Right. Like, if they're giving you kills like this, that's great, but eventually you're going to get to a, a, either a game or a rank where you're on attack, people on the enemy team aren't just feeding you kills, right? So you're actually going to have to work for them. You're, you're going to, so right now, you already want to be practicing taking space and just looking for kills. If they are running into you and giving you kills, that's great, but again, that's not always going to happen. You're not always going to have Long John Zon on your enemy team uh, running in <laughs> like that, so... Make sure, make sure that you get comfortable taking fights. So we, yeah, we're, we've spent like forty seconds, literally, like okay, just walking right around here. Yeah, sure, let's go A. Cause like, there's there's no reason we couldn't say like, let's go A at the start of the like, like like let's hard push A or let's hard push B. There's nothing wrong with that. If you tr if you try to call that and it doesn't work, well, at least now you know that it doesn't work, right? But now you you just don't know if that's gonna work or not. So it it might also work, and if it does work, you can just kind of keep doing it. At this point, again, now, now you're defending. I don't know if you've realized this or not yet, but whenever the spike goes down, you're, you're actually the defensive team, which is very good. If you get the spike down, your odds of winning the round should be higher because unless you're just down a bunch of numbers. But if it's like 3v3 and you point the spike, odds should be in your favor, should be. Because they have to come into you and it's harder to do that. Okay, good. Good, so we're throwing smokes. I think that's okay. Because what I'm thinking is you could either throw them before the round starts or after. I think you could probably throw throw before the round starts, honestly. Just because, like, I don't think... I don't think the enemies are, like, theorizing, Oh, they smoked. They put smokes A. They're probably <laughs> coming A now. Like, they're probably not doing that at this level. So, you yeah. could... But I think this is fine. That's why I said that. But it is just something you'd be a little bit aware of. Good aim. Like, you're good at taking fights. You just have to realize that you are and try to make an active effort to do so a little more often. Especially when your mm -hmm. team is lacking. If your team is not lacking and they don't need more kills, Astra's they don't need you to get kills, you could just play a support role, which is kind of what Astra is. Yeah. But there's no reason. Like, you still have a gun. Like, you have the same gun as everyone else. So. Spike, so we, can we always play this spot. Have you noticed that? We always are right here. Yeah. So, again, you're kind of autopilot y, uh, if that makes sense. Like, you always kind of come here without really thinking about mm -hmm. it. You have to realize how many spots you have open here. Like, you could play from short, you could play in cubby, which is probably not the best spot right here. You play in U Hall, kind of where your sky is. A really, really good spot next time you're on this map, right here, this corner. You could sit in this corner. Mm -hmm. That is something that your enemies will not clear. If you're walking into U Hall, you'll probably not place your crosser right here. So, it's just a free kill if you're sitting there. 
Mm -hmm. Um, so here we're just watching flank. You do kill one. Nice. We get the ace. Good. So we have no stars, which is fine. Here again, you just want to be telling yourself and even your team, like, okay, let's not throw this around. Let's just play time. So right here, you can put it a little farther forward because you see the problem with this now. Yeah, they can push out. Yeah, they can walk out on either side, actually. So the best smokes are ones where in this spot, they can't really walk out until, like, you know, you can just kill them because yeah. it's just too dangerous. Okay, so this is a pretty good example of when I would ask to rotate. Can we go B? Can we go B? So, uh, the problem here is we sky ult, we go in. Problem is that our Reyna goes in and mm -hmm. she dies, and then now we're just in a very bad spot because you, you're stunned, you're revealed, you're not stunned, you're, you're blind, you're revealed, and your your Reyna's dead. And so also there are at least two people there, and you heard your TP. So the best play probably here in my head, because there could be more here, we don't know. But the best play here is to f try to tell our team to fight the Rana, get your team, or I mean, um, the Yoru. To get your team's attention to focus on the Yoru, get the kill, and then really decide what you want to do from there. Probably kill the Yoru and then go B, but you could also right. go back A, technically. But here, we just want to, we really just want to be killing the Yoru. Long John Zon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's fine. We spend a lot of time watching the flank, which is something that I... So, generally, this is bad because you're going to have a Sentinel that can actually put, like, a trip here. But right. this game, you don't. So, it's a little better, but still, I think you're watching it a little bit too excessively, like, too much. Just a little bit too much. Um, so, yeah. So, I would just, again, try to put more energy forward. You have these smokes for your team for a reason. Like, you could take sight with these smokes. You just have to really have the confidence and the willingness to push out the sight with your team. Make sure your team's on the same page with you. If, the, if they're not, that's what the comms are for again. But here, I mean, we might be waiting for Long John Zon, but he might not come to us. That's kind of variable. Right? So, there he is. He's dead. Okay. G, you played pretty well, I would say. Thank you. Um, thank you. Do you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned, or does it make sense? Um, Yeah, it all makes sense. I don't know. It's hard because um, I played in high elo and low elo, and the play styles of everyone is just very different. Yes, I agree. Most people would agree with that. Everyone. Yeah. How do you, and, uh, how do you feel about uh, that? Like, does that feel... It, does it make it hard? Yeah, it's hard to, like, be consistent. Because, like, with bronze, you kind of just run in and kill everyone. But once you get higher, it's hard to do that. And it just causes inconsistency. Yeah. I mean, um, once you realize that the only, th the only thing that really matters to get you out of this rank is just your yourself and, like, your own... Know, potential that's what you got to focus on because the people you, you play with is always variable it always changes even in higher ranks you're gonna get like you're gonna get games where it feels like people are just playing like it's a completely different rank um right so yeah but any any questions again i think your biggest flaw is probably uh indecisiveness and just spin like on especially on defense where you just sat and spawn like that's what i want you to really focus on right now if you go play Try to get into the habit of not doing that because that is just um, wasting a lot of time and that's time you could be spending winning the round for your team basically. Because again, this rank is very easy to get out of in my opinion. And it should right. be it should be for you too if you care enough uh, about ranking up. People are in Wait. this rank usually because they just don't, don't care that much. <laughs> but... No other questions. That's it. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, let me know Thank you. if you have any other questions you can DM me. But uh, you have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.